Hey y'all, it's Sequoia. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I go from this color to this color, which is purple. If you have not already, definitely check out my previous video where I showed how I color corrected my hair. So to begin with, I start out with using the Ion Bright semi-permanent color in the color purple. This does not have to be mixed with a peroxide or anything else because it is semi-permanent. So I'm gonna take the top off, I'm gonna puncture the cap. This will let you know if the cap is not punctured, this will let you know that it has not been tampered with and it's brand new. So I'm gonna use my strong muscles and elbow grease to squeeze the tube into my really ghetto bowl. It's my mixing bowl, it's what I use for my products because I don't like to continue to refill the bowl. So anyway, I'm using two tubes of this. I'm just gonna squeeze them directly into the bowl. Once I've done that, my hair is sectioned and I'm gonna ensure that my hair is detangled. And after I've detangled it, I'm gonna part a small section in the back to work with. I have my gloves on and I did use these gloves previously to color my hair so it does still have a bit of bleach on them but it's cool okay so I'm just going straight in with my hands no applicator brush no applicator bottle none of that just going in with my hands and applying the color directly to my hair as you can see I've already done the left side however there were some spots in the root that I did not get but once I finish with my whole head I will be going back through to make sure that my roots are gotten. I'm doing rather large sections because I mean I was kind of tired at this point I just wanted it to be over. This was like my second process of the day of my hair and I you know I just wasn't feeling it. But I'm making sure that I get the color on all of my hair so that my hair can turn out the way I want it. In the beginning where I posted the picture of my purple hair, you were able to see clearly the color. That's because I was standing by a window where there was sunlight. So when I'm indoors, you can't tell that my hair is purple, but when I'm outdoors, you can. And what I would recommend if you all want your hair to be brighter than mine, definitely start out with lighter hair. Don't go from red to purple like me if you really want it to be bright. Okay, so as you can see, I'm opening up my roots. I'm trying to ensure that I get this hair color all throughout my hair because you do not want patches. Trust me, I have been there, I have done that. If you need to get somebody to hold a mirror for you or look at the back of your head while you're doing it, if you're doing it on yourself, then do whatever you have to do to ensure that this color is throughout your hair. Unless you're going for that look, you know? Some people do that. Okay, I am now on the last section and after this section here I'm just gonna go through the rest of my hair because like I said I did miss some spots in the back but I didn't get that part on camera I'm just gonna go through to make sure that I have all of the hair saturated and then after that I'm gonna let it process for an hour in my processing cap and clearly I made a huge mess on my forehead on my arms everywhere but I'll clean that up after this so after I let my hair sit, I did rinse it out. I rinsed it, I did not shampoo because I didn't want any of the color to wash out. So I rinsed it until the water became clear as possible. And then I styled my hair. So my next video will be me straightening and cutting my hair. I cut it short early, but I'm still talking. So check out my videos. I promise you won't have to wait as long as you did with this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.